Welcome to another Group Iron Man episode. We're going to start this one off by doing a bit of the Guardians of the Rift minigame. To level my runecrafting, I am right now 60 runecrafting after posting that video I made on the day of release. And uh, I have some points stacked up from the minigame, but I want to get a bit more. And uh, hopefully we can get lucky with some cool rewards, some abyssal pearls, and maybe buy some items from the store. You know, something I thought of, which is actually really big, is that basically all of my teammates right now is doing this minigame because it's new. And we are probably making so many runes that we're not really going to have to worry about runes in general for a long time. Which on an Iron Man is of course very nice. It has been a while, I've got 150k runecrafting experience on the counter and I have reached 63 runecrafting. And I now have 51 reward points we can actually collect and I want to see if I can get anything interesting. I know I'm going to get some collection log items just in the Abyssal Pearls, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll see what we get. And there we go, that's the first collection log item. Literally the first loot I did was Abyssal Pearls and it's 10 of them, another 12 of them. So it seems pretty common and the items that you buy in the store are actually kind of cheap. So uh, that's probably going to be kind of easy to get all of them you need. And we are down to the last 5 reward permits and I did get this one, Atlax Diary, which is actually a unique and I did get 3 pouches in the end here, which just contain runes I believe, yeah, some cosmic runes, some astral runes and a dragon med helm. I, if that's mega rare, I am very sad, but uh, this is a collection log item, I think you just read this, I guess it's nothing too uh, interesting. Let's have a look if it is. Oh, it's apparently not a collection log item. I guess I thought so because I saw it on the wiki on the drop table. But yeah, not on the collection log, but 90 pearls from 50 runs. So on this small sample size, it was like two pearls, a bit less than that per point. And if we go here to the store, one of these pieces are 500. This is 400, 400 and 300. So what is that? 800 plus 800, 1.6k for buying the whole set. Yeah, it's going to take a t uh, some time, most likely, but it's not terrible. So just before the game finished, I hit 65 runecrafting, making some nice progress. And this is a very big level, because now I can make death runes. That is very nice, because they actually power up the cells to the highest tier, giving the most experience, as well as just being good runes to craft. Like, who doesn't want more death runes? Just woke up and I saw a hotfix where they increased the drop rate of Abyssal Pearls. The whole hotfix is on the screen right now. And before I was getting 2 pearls per 1 permit I was looting in the Reward Guardian. But uh, I have 30 more permits, let's have a check right here, 30. Uh, let's see how many pearls we get from this. And here we go, the last few permits. I have 88 pearls and that is definitely more than I had before. As I said, before I was getting 2 pearls per 1 loot that I did. And so I would have had 60 in theory, but now I had 88. So that is not bad. Hopefully I can get lucky and we can buy some items in the near future. This mini game definitely is insanely good, it is so fun to do and I can't believe I'm saying that about runecrafting and that is 70 runecrafting. This is honestly a game changer, I'm so happy they put this into the game and seeing myself getting 70 runecrafting is incredible. But now it is time to collect 90 reward permits which is what I overall have. So let's see if we can get lucky, get some of the unique items and I'll see you guys at the end or if I get anything interesting. So I have 20 more rewards to collect now and as you see in my inventory I've got a good amount of pearls but overall I have not got any uniques at all which is kind of disappointing. I did get a bunch of talismans but I got a full inventory so I had to bank those. But uh, we also have the intricate pouches that you can see at the bottom there in my inventory. They have some random and interesting loots in them so we will loot them afterwards. But uh, 90 permits and actually no unique. That is a bit disappointing. Maybe we can get some in the last ones here. Three more to go. I think two more to go. Oh, we get some no more pouches. Actually a lot of them at the end here. But uh, yeah, no unique. That's how it goes sometimes. So let's have a look at these five intricate pouches. Experience lamp on the first one. Ooh, she left ha- What?! Dragon spear and she left half. Are you kidding me? Is that actually common? If it is, that's insane for Iron Man. If you want to collect these, maybe the runecrafting mini game is going to be the way to get dragon spear and she left half in the future. Hello, this is Alonescape from the future. I do want to make a comment on the drop rates of the shield left half and the dragon spear that you just saw. 
They are both a 1 in 50 drop rate from the intricate pouches, which themselves are a 1 in 25 from the reward permits that you get from the minigame. Now, if you're going for either one of these, you don't really care which one you get, it is 625 points in the minigame, which of course is quite a lot, but if you want a specific one, it's double that, so 1250 chance every time you open a loot permit of getting that item that you want. So do whatever you want with that. It might be the meta in the future to just go for like 99 runecrafting like you do 1 to 99 or I guess 50 to 99 fire making on Winter Todd on Iron Man. You might do that with runecrafting and when you open all your reward permits the chances of you getting both the shield left half and the dragon spear is very high because you have so many points. Just want to mention that the drop rates are it's pretty rare, to say the least. But it's that time of the video again, when I do 250 Chaos Fanatic. If you're wondering, by the way, at this point, maybe some of you guys are like, why are you still doing this boss? What's the point of it? I really want to get all the Odium Wards. We only have one right now. We need two more, because we only have two of Boa Ferradinans. And two or three people, rather, are going to be using crossbows for most PVM content. And uh, yeah, I'm at 1755 KC. And then we only have one Odium Shard, and I really want to finish them, so let's get to 2000. Let's see if we can get an Odium Shard. That is the first Dragon Medhelm I have ever got from the Chaos Fanatic. In 1780 kills, I need to check the drop rate on that. Yeah, pretty sure that's the rarest thing I've got so far. One in 4096. Yes, I am not unlucky, Odium Shard number 2. We only need one more after this one left, and that did not take long at all, so I'm very happy about that. No way, dude. The luck comes back, that took me like 70 kills or something like that, and that is the last Odium Shard. I can't believe I went like 1750 kills getting one shard, and then another 130 kills after that, I get two more, but I guess that's how RuneScape RNG works. And there they are, two of each one of them, so we can make the Odium Wards. I'm not sure where the third one Odium Ward is, but I guess someone has it in their bank. But uh, yeah, let's go and make them. Such a long time coming, the second Odium Ward for the team. There it is in the inventory, let's make the last one. And that is the last one. No more kills, Fnatic needed. And on top of that, of course, we have another Malediction as well that I got to join the grind, so I think we have three Maledictions and three Odiums. Honestly, we might actually have four Maledictions, maybe even more than that. I know I have one in my bank, there's two in the storage here, the two Odiums as well, and I think maybe someone else has a Malediction as well, so that's nice. By the way, if you're wondering, I did reach rank 189 on the Chaos Fanatic boss in all those kill counts, which is very nice. I'm not really feeling like going back there right now to push for like 2000 KC. I might do that in the future just for fun. But for now, I feel like I'm gonna spend some time on medium clue scrolls. I'm going to actually get some more impling jars by collecting random implings. And then we'll do some medium clue scrolls from eclectic implings. Yeah, catching eclectic implings in Piro Piro definitely isn't the most fun thing, but uh, we do have a medium clue already in the bank, so we're going to do that first, and I collected 750 of them this time. So with this clue scroll and all of these, theoretically I should get around 31 medium clue scrolls. Let's see if we're lucky or unlucky. Dude, what is this? I have 167 left, and I've got 15 caskets, like half of what I should have. I've been so unlucky, I opened like 80 of them in a row now, and I've got no medium clues at all. Can I get one this inventory, please? I'm still not getting nothing. Despite being unlucky, I did at least end up getting 22 caskets, which is like 8 or 9 below what I should have, but let's see what we can get. Hopefully we can get the ranger boots. Down to the last two caskets, nothing too great so far, except of course a bunch of collection log items, you can see that in the chat here, I think that's four unlocks, let's see what we get for the last two ones, nothing too good. And gold elegant legs, I think that's a pretty hard item to get rare wise, 
and they look pretty nice as well, or maybe they don't. But yeah, that is another 22 medium clue skulls opened for a total of 76. I'm going to try to do the master clue as well that I got from that medium clue scroll in the beginning. And the first step is talk to Yuna while wearing three gothics related items. And it says on the wiki that Void Elite is supposed to work as an item. So let's see if that's actually true or not. It is. Very interesting. Not sure why that is. Well, I did manage to get to the third step, but uh, Samurai God Sword, we do not have that. And I'm not really feeling like farming like 500 krill for that to happen. I think it's been over a week now and I'm going to be collecting the resources from the kingdom, got a 100% favor and this is all the loot. I am actually considering maybe changing what I have here instead of having full on herbs and half on teaks. I am actually considering doing this, just taking half of that away and going full, I guess a bit more there on teaks because I want to get enough logs to get 99 construction whenever I want to do that. And you actually don't get that many herbs from the kingdom, so I think this is actually better. Of course, the runecrafting minigame was recently released and that is what most of my teammates are doing right now. But another grind that both, I think, Dovidas and Max Nick are doing is the Slayer grind. And they're trying to get to 91 Slayer as soon as possible for Cerberus and try to get us Primordial Boots and hopefully Pigation Boots if I can land on some Ranger Boots from the Medium Clue Skulls I've been doing. But if we go here, the Dovidas account is right now 90 Slayer, almost 91. And uh, Max Nick is also 90 Slayer. And uh, having more people on 91 Slayer for more Cerberus kills overall over the account is very good. Or over the team, I should say. So I'm also going to work on Slayer. But for now, I'm going to end the video. In the next one, I'm going to start with doing Slayer. Hopefully some nice drops. And I actually have a Skeletal Wyvern task right now. So using the DFS is going to be very satisfying there for the first time. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see future uploads and until next time guys, take care.